Tributes are pouring in from all over the world, remembering Archbishop Desmond Tutu. If Nelson Mandela was the heart of the anti-apartheid crusade, Tutu was its soul. He died today in South Africa at 90. When asked how he wanted to be remembered, Tutu once said he loved, he laughed, he cried, he was forgiven, he forgave. Here's ABC's James Longman. His was a laugh and joy that inspired millions. But underneath that smile, Desmond Tutu had a steely resolve to fight injustice. Our march to freedom is unstoppable. Alongside Nelson Mandela, he fought to end apartheid in South Africa, and he became an iconic spiritual leader and global peace advocate. We're created to be members of one family. This charm allowing him to champion serious issues, which in later years included gay rights and the environment. And tonight, tributes are pouring in from around the world. Barack Obama awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009. Desmond Tutu possesses that sense of generosity, that spirit of unity, that essence of humanity that South Africans know simply as Ubuntu. He today called Tutu a mentor, a friend, and a moral compass for me and so many others. President Biden sending his condolences to Tutu's wife, Leah, and their family, saying his legacy transcends borders and will echo throughout the ages. Queen Elizabeth praising him as someone who tirelessly championed human rights in South Africa and across the world. And South Africa's president heralding Tutu as a hero from a generation of outstanding South Africans who've bequeathed us a liberated South Africa. Tutu became the first black archbishop of Cape Town, but his childhood was spent under white South Africa's brutally enforced apartheid system. He campaigned for economic sanctions, and in 1985, when the UK and US were eventually convinced to pull all investments from the country, it crippled the economy, forcing the apartheid regime to reform. He'd been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize a year earlier, which he credited with helping signal the beginning of the end of apartheid. Free elections were held in 1994, and at 63 years old, Tutu cast his first vote. The hearing of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission is now in session. He chaired the Truth and Reconciliation Commission to investigate crimes during white minority rule, and later became a critic of a South African government he thought hadn't delivered on his dream. We dreamt about a society that would be compassionate. Mm. A society that really made people feel they mattered. He'll be remembered for his wit and wisdom, a man who used humour to inspire hope. There's a lot of awfulness in the world. Yes, I know. And most of us know that. But what we don't also recognise is there's a great deal of good. Desmond Tutu was described as the conscience of his nation. His struggle for universal human rights and racial equality is an example that has shone through the ages, a lesson as relevant today as it ever was. Lindsay. Known as the voice of justice, James, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.